Hey friends, welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba, a first time homesteader, following in the footsteps of my homesteading forebears. And we had an emergency on the homestead. We had a fire. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss another step in my homesteading journey and my story. And I am making this intro a little bit after the fire because I filmed that day, but I was distraught flustered it was really chaotic and yeah so I am doing the intro now so uh enjoy the video let me know what you think and yeah it was really scary <laughs> so I woke up to a bit of a situation today uh, um I smelled smoke but I smell smoke all the time because I burn wood my neighbors burn wood and the first thing I do is go check on the chicken coop. And I came in and found a fire. Um, the heat lamp fell and they must have, I don't know, flown into it or something, I don't know. The heat lamp fell and burnt through the floor. So the first thing I did was see that and then count my chickens and they're all okay, they're in the corner. And this whole thing was smoky, so I feel really bad they had to be in the smoke for a while, so I'm airing it out and I'm getting rid of all the dust or the wood shavings to fix it today and see what I can do to fix the hole. Burnt through to the stud too, so don't know how tricky of a fix this will be. So when you walk in the coop, that right there is where the fire was, but also it burnt through to the it burnt through to the other side right here. So I'm just gonna be putting a two by four in front of it like that and screwing it into the wall. And yeah, I'm happy I caught it when I did. All right, so I just measured in the chicken coop of what I need to cover up and I'm doing four feet wide and then I'm doing 26 and a half, actually 27 inches long so I'm gonna have like this piece right here that is gonna be covering up the burn spot. I'm gonna be cutting that with a circular saw and then I'm gonna go screw it into the joist. All right so I discovered that this is really unstable and I'm not gonna be walking here and nobody will be walking right here but just in case I'm going to take I have a eight foot long redwood piece of wood that I'm gonna cut in half which is um, which will give me two four foot planks and so I'm going to just stabilize it a bit more because it's a little sketchy right here and then um, I still will use this but I just want to try and be as safe as I can when I am rebuilding this for my chickens I want I want them to have a safe home I just want to show you guys on this side where the flames came up to um, truly a miracle that this didn't all just burn down and catch fire and honestly it was a uh, it really was a miracle so I'm grateful so here is my eight foot redwood piece I actually used to build my garden planner last year, but I'm going to be cutting it right in the middle. So I'll have two four foot redwood pieces that I'll use to stabilize the chicken coop floor. All right, this is what I made, kind of like a seat on the edge right there to help stabilize towards the wall in the chicken coop. All right, so I have this side two by four off. You come in and see the little chickies, the safe little chickies that I'm so grateful for, and then Here's the fixed floor, much better than the hole. So I'm gonna get all the their bedding back together and add some more and we'll have some happy chickies. The chicken's house is all put back together like it didn't even happen. I mean, you can see that happened, but everybody's happy. We got a little chunk right there. Goober the rooster and uh, yeah, they're all happy. And it doesn't smell as much as smoke because I put some wood chip down so it's not as smoky but yay happy and healthy chickies in the future i am not going to use this i was even nervous about fire i might get like a you can get like a heating wall like a metal warming plate that you screw into the wall so it's stable and plug it in so i would put that somewhere around the coop maybe in the same area i don't know because like I showed you guys, these are their nesting boxes, which I filled with hay, but 
yeah, maybe I should have made like a fail safe. And I didn't think that if this fell, I should make it so it also unplugs if it falls. But instead, the cord just extended and it was just hanging there. Literally just hanging there. And this is wood. The floor is plywood. Wood shavings, plywood. It burned through the joists. Like this whole thing is just wood. And... The fact that it didn't burn down, 100% a miracle, and I know that, and I am super grateful for that, but I would not recommend heating lamps, and you hear it, and I heard it, and other homesteaders say, man, it just takes one thing, and everything goes to, you know, fire. It literally does, so I would not recommend a heating lamp. And to clarify, so this part is what was clamped right there. And there was like another little clamp that clamped around this. And as you can see, the clamp that was on here just completely, you know, fell off. I have no clue where it is. So it just wasn't secure properly and it got knocked and this fell. So yeah, never again. You can see like the ash on there. That's, yeah, that's uh, fire ash. That's not dust. Yikes. All of the chickies survived. They're happy in foraging. It still smells like smoke, but at least they have a happy, nice little place to come out and enjoy some sunshine. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and comment down below that you survived the fire and you stayed the whole time. Okay, don't do a thing a couple and do. Bye!